Welcome back to Minecraft for Noobs with the with the uh, Gaming Grandpa. Today's episode is uh, we visit a village and uh, we'll recount that uh, yesterday when uh, we shut this down uh, we had just created a bed and there it is and we had also looked across and saw something that might be a uh, a village so we're gonna find out now uh, just number one how good our bed works and number two uh, where there's a village over there oh look our bed works we're sleeping and lo and behold instead of waiting eight or nine minutes for the night to go away it's gone so let's go up and look in our window and listen not hearing much that's a good sign way off in the distance so I can see a uh, see a creeper and I'm gonna give them wide berth always now I let one blow up in my face the other day just to show you you could survive it but I don't want to do that again Something's looking pretty good at boy here's something make sure there's nothing uh, lurking down the uh, start of our mine take stock of our inventory. Looks like we've got uh, plenty of wood, plenty of food, we've got weapons and we've got picks. Just about everything we need to go on a little uh, a little uh, adventure. That music usually means the sun's up pretty good so let's go out and see uh, what it looks like out here. Look around there's the sun coming up. Don't see any bad guys. Got my sword just in case. I'll run over to the uh, sandbar. I want to look out there. Uh, look around first. Make sure nothing's sneaking up on me. See off in the distance there, just to the uh, right of center. There. That's that's a a village. So we're going to go uh, go take a look at it and see what show you what a village looks like. It's a very rare thing to get to see a village because they they're randomly uh, spawned, but there really aren't that many of them in any any specific game. You may see one out of uh, ten or twenty games. Okay, we're going to run around our thing. Uh oh, wait a minute. What am I seeing? Something green. That's a creeper. Goodbye. Okay, we're going to run over here and see if he gives chase. Okay, he's coming this way, but kind of slow. And if you're out of a certain range, eight or nine blocks, he won't pay any attention to you. But if he gets within that range, he will pursue you. So I'm not even going to go near him. I'm going to jump in the water, swim across the uh, cove here, and see if he follows. If he follows, I'll show you how to kill a creeper. Okay, it's like he's in the water, but not really coming this way. He can't swim very fast, so uh, I think I'll just uh, leave him, leave him in my tracks here. And one of the uh, things that you learn in Minecraft after a while is you should really run or swim everywhere you go. You don't really want to walk slowly. You do want to stop from time to time and listen, but when you're not stopping and listening, you want to run. Uh, way less chance of something sneaking up on you or catching you if you uh, become a moving target. Okay, we're gonna run, 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 and I'm gonna bypass that whole jungle on our right uh, because there's probably some great stuff in there, but uh, I don't want to get hung up. I want to spend all the time I've got today to uh, visit this village. Okay, there's home. And again, always staying oriented to where uh, where home is because that's safety. And we do not want to get left out here at night because big flat areas like this are, are where the uh, zombies and the spiders and the Endermen and all of them uh, hang out at night. Way too many for us to fight successfully at this point. Nothing following. It's like about eh, 10.30 in the morning. Minecraft time. All right, let's go see the village. Now, let me tell you something about a village. A village is, is populated by villagers. 
And villagers are kind of benign. Oh, look at that. That's, that's what a zombie looks like when it comes out in the sun, catches on fire, and dies. It can still attack you for a little while, but it's not really much of a threat. Uh, anyway, uh, villages are populated by villagers, and villagers are kind of benign uh, mobs. They're, they're more like sheep than anything else, uh, except that if you, I'm told, and I've never done this, if you um, anger them that they will gang up on you and, and, and they will uh, uh, damage you, uh, I don't know if they'll kill you or not, I don't want to find out. Oh, there's a door. Wow, now we have a door. Didn't even have to build it ourselves. This is a typical villager hut. Nothing, nothing to write home about. And uh, they farm. And uh, if you're ever in a, in a position where you need, need food, you can't eat this stuff directly, but you can use it to do things like make bread, which you can eat. Uh, meat's a much better uh, uh, way to uh, go, chickens and, and, and cows. Okay, and you open doors basically by just uh, uh, right-clicking on them. You can, I think you can left-click on them too. Doors are pretty, uh, pretty easy. This is a good-sized village, uh, bigger than some I've seen. Lots of farming. Uh, interesting, no animals. Uh, oftentimes you'll find uh, cows and chickens and uh, pigs around uh, villages. Sometimes you'll even see that the villagers are, are farming them. They, they'll put them in, uh, in fences. Oh, that green thing on our right there? That is a cactus, and you don't want to bump into cactuses because they will damage you. They will also damage uh, uh, bad guys and uh, everybody else. So you, ultimately, you can collect them and use them for uh, for uh, traps and things. Anyway, let's go into uh, another uh, hut. Uh, this is one uh, that, that actually has a ladder, and I want to show you ladders because we'll be using ladders when we start mining. Just you can build ladders out of wood, and we know we have lots of wood. So let's jump up here and survey the uh, the area. Okay. Oh. Okay. I jumped too far. Uh, uh, good lesson. I meant to do that. Uh, because what it shows is you can jump from that height and not lose any of your hearts. Uh, no damage done. Anyway, back up here. I'll be more careful in my jump this time. Yeah, jump, 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 jump. Uh, come on. I'm, uh, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm good. And jump up on top here and look around. Uh, let's see, what do we see? A lot of, a lot of sand and uh, the kind of the width and breadth of the, uh, of the village. Again, nothing huge to write home about. Uh, about noon now, a little afternoon. Do notice that the clouds and the sun are going in the same direction, and that direction is, for for lack of a better. Uh, compass west. The sun will set in the west and rise in the east. The moon will rise in the east and set in the west, just like in the real world. So that means we're now looking north, north toward our uh, jungle, and there's our island. And that means that that direction is where the moon will come up, that's east. So it's kind of a lesson in keeping uh, keeping oriented. Let's jump. Uh, okay, we're on the roof. Woohoo! No damage. Might come in handy someday if you uh, need to evade uh, a zombie that's chasing you. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's not unusual to come to a village and actually chop up their houses and take the pieces back, or or even move in and you use their uh, uh, the building that they've already done. I've done it once. It's not that big a thrill, uh, and it's you know I don't know. It's like uh, visiting your your uh, relatives or something. It's different, but not real, real hardy Minecraft stuff. Okay, whoops. I'm seeing the sun kind of get around, uh, start going low, so I, I need to hurry up and uh, finish my survey. Sometimes you, you'll find chests inside of these uh, houses. Sometimes you'll find uh, kilns, and uh, sometimes you'll find libraries with, with books. Uh, again, uh, books uh, come in handy later on when you're uh, making enchantment tables and things like that. Looks like this is Slim Pickens uh, in this place, and uh, I'm not really going to... Uh, let me see. Now that's interesting. I don't know what that black thing is. Uh, I would be very surprised if it were, uh, if it were made out of uh, something valuable, but it almost looks like uh, that it could be a... Uh, 
Uh, well, I'll just knock it down and see. Uh, I didn't get it yet. Oh, there it is. Okay. We can get ourselves some more uh, some more uh, torches. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, it looks like it's black wool. Whoopee. Now we have black wool and white wool. Anyway, I'm not going to take anything else from, from the village today because, uh, you know, number one, I don't want to anger the, uh, the villagers, but also uh, I think the time is running a little low on us here. I do believe the sun's going down. So sky's a little bit less uh, bright, and uh, so I'm going to run off here and, uh, whoa, wait a minute. Something isn't right. I don't see our island because I'm running in the wrong direction. Oh, okay, so I meant to do that to show you how easy it is to make a mistake. And uh, this is a mistake that could be fatal because uh, the sun is going down real fast and we need to get home because the uh, the bad guys are going to be coming out soon and uh, we don't want to be caught out. It's the uh, fastest way to die is to be out at night without any armor, without any uh, any protection at all. And so we're, we're there's our island. We're going to uh, take the shortest and fastest and actually the safest route there and that is we're going to swim. So here we go. A little nighttime swim. Uh, you, you will actually see uh, zombies swim and skeletons swim and cows swim. Uh, everybody can swim. Uh, nobody can swim as fast as we can. And things work out. Uh, we'll we'll make us a boat and uh, and float around. Uh, a boat is like one step better than than swimming because it's uh, you, you uh, move a little bit faster. Anyway, just a little bit to our left there, you can see our uh, our torch that we put on the sandbar, or actually on the edge of the edge of the mainland there. But our island is still pretty easy to see. It's not so dark that we uh, we're totally black, which really would have been dangerous, especially again if we hadn't had a uh, a uh, torch put out. Okay. Next thing we need to be concerned about is that something crawled into our uh, our uh, house while we were gone. So we're going to be cognizant of that. Here comes the moon again. Okay. We're home. Let me see. Listen. 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 Nothing. Okay, let me see if there's anything. Listen. Nothing. Yahoo! We're home safe. And, oh, by the way, we brought a door with us. Woohoo! Now we can, <laughs> we can close the door when we leave in the morning. There it is. That's the door. All right, now I'm going to show you again how uh, owning a bed allows you to rule the night because uh, we're going to lay down for a minute. Okay, three, four, five. We're going to wake up. And ah, look, it's morning. We survived a night in about you know, four or five seconds. So that's today's lesson. You know what a village looks like, and uh, we've survived another one. This is the uh, Game and Grandpa saying, uh, I'll see you next time. And uh, Lord knows what, uh, what we can find to uh, occupy ourselves and have a good time with. See you next time.